Bernard, here's my problem. I have friends, physicists, cosmologists, who look at the universe and say, there's absolutely no God, full stop, go on to something else. And then others, and some theologians, who would look at the creation and, and, and say, this doesn't prove God, but is not only consistent with God, but shows the glory and grandeur and creativity and diversity and beauty of, of God. So you have very, very smart people on both sides of this argument. And so I conclude, looking at both of them, that the universe must be religiously ambiguous. Do you agree? Well, undoubtedly your statement is correct that people come to these very different conclusions about the existence of God from looking at the same universe. And I think what is clear is that science can neither prove nor disprove God. I think if you are of a religious disposition, you will see in the universe evidence for God. If you are of an atheistic disposition, you will see evidence for the lack of God. Um, and by and large, the, the history of, of, of physics, of cosmology, and particle physics has been one of getting this wonderful understanding of the entire universe, but the price we pay for that is there seems to be no room for, for, for spirit or for the divine or for God or however you want to put it. Now personally, I tend to be in, in the class of people who s tend to see evidence for God, but of course I'm using God in a very nebulous way now, if you like, evidence for the divine, something in other words going beyond the normal materialist reductionist perception, that there is something there. And then you can ask, well, what is the evidence for that? You know, I'm happy just to make that distinction, because what is it then is a whole different, but that's the critical question. Is there something beyond the material, physical, e even an expanded physicalism, which we don't know what yet is the next things, but take physicalism out as far as you want to go, yeah. is there something beyond well, that? Well, to me, I mean, there's, there's two steps in this. The first step is to show that mind is important, you know, that it, mentality is important. It's not just a matter of matter and physics, there's mentality as well. And I think you can argue that on various grounds, but, but once you argue that mind is fundamental, you then have to go the next day and say, well, what about spirit? Because, you know, matter, mind, spirit, Mind is obviously the, the, the slippery slope to, to spirit as well. And so it's part of Does that bother you? No, because I don't mind the slippery slope, because I'm predisposed to the idea that, you know... Now, the, the, what physicists use today to counter all of this is multiple universes. So, what, because if you have multiple universes, then, and, and there's an infinite number, then something can happen in, in one of them which can produce us, and you don't need a creator, or you don't need a designer, or you don't need anything. Yes, and the, it, often there is this d dilemma to explain the fine tunings. Are you going to invoke a, d a creator, a, a designer, God, or are you going to invoke the multiverse? Now, most physicists, of course, prefer to invoke a invoke a multiverse because they don't then need to invoke God. But actually, it's not as simple as that. I mean, I think what is true is that if you have one universe, then it is actually rather hard to explain all these mysterious fine tunings, unless you do say there is a designer. If you've got a multiverse, there is then no need to invoke a creator because you have a natural selection effect which would say that we, we have to exist in the universe which is right for life. But then it's, nor does a multiverse preclude the existence of God because if God can create one universe he can obviously create as many as he, as he wants. And to me the multiverse would be a natural way for God to operate if, 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 he, if he chose to Well himself. conversely if you have only one universe there could be a, a question of this is the only consistent way that some mathematical formulation expresses itself. I mean f physicists have been trying to find this one explanation for the universe, I think less successfully than they hoped, but still many feel that they could find it. So on both sides of this, many you have... Many physicists would dream, would hope that they would have a unique universe, that the, the final theory of physics would uniquely specify, so there would only be one universe. And you would not need a creator. And then you wouldn't need a creator, and you wouldn't need a multiverse. And many people would find that the ideal solution. Right. No God, no multiverse. Right. Um, it just seems that it won't work out <laughs> that way. It doesn't look problem. as though there's one, there's going to be one theory and it has been said that the multiverse is the 
last resort of the desperate atheist because you know unless there's a multiverse you really might be forced into these into yeah. the and that's fairly universe. recent in terms of its understanding because it used to be that people had a great hope to find the one solution yes i mean this is all the developments over the last 20 years because the 20 years ago the hope was m theory would give a unique yeah. but now the feeling is that the multiverse does eliminate the need for god I would say that's not a logical um, infra. It's some people take that view, and uh, undoubtedly... I think it's the majority. Uh, the, the, there are people like um, Martin Rees and Steven Weinberg who, who are very keen on the multiverse precisely because it means you don't need to invoke God. But all the point I'm making is that even if there is a multiverse, it doesn't actually exclude God. Um, and I... I I tend to myself think... I mean, you could always say that. I mean, you can't prove a negative. You can never prove God doesn't exist. And that's impossible. Absolutely. I mean, that's logically To me, impossible. any evidence for God ultimately comes from inside, not from outside. But if you look at the multiverse, you see, you see evidence. You, you see a consistency with God. I don't see inconsistency with God. I just see the, the odd shift, you know, from... Uh, from towards God if you went through a single universe, but uh, to me it's almost he could work either way if you happen to believe in him.